Robin Hood and GameStop. Uh, that is uh, Cosmic Water. Uh, it is actually a prediction, is what that is. Uh, like I've been talking about the Cosmic Water here, or the forecast, and if you if you can read, you know, between the lines there, it'll tell you what's about to happen. And if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty good at predicting things. Uh, let me start off by explaining what people like Jeff Bezos just uh, took part of, who is a CIA asset. Uh, that's what Jeff Bezos is. He owns the Washington Post, I believe, the one that says democracy dies in darkness, or the yeah, one of those newspapers <coughs> the top. That's the banner that it reads. Uh, so... They know about the mind control scheme and the ICE and the whole country has been iced, all these billionaires do. Uh, and the CIA does too. And you're not going to become a billionaire, in, I mean, unless you're in the oil, gas, and chemical business uh, without, you know, a, a CIA getting under their umbrella, which that's basically what Bezos is. So this scheme that they just ran... Uh, where they uh, ran the, the, the COVID, uh, uh, the virus came out. This one's kind of hard for me to explain. I'm getting hammered while I'm trying to explain it by the CIA, by the way. So uh, that just lets me know that I'm over the target. So I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Well, everybody knows that the these billionaires have like 25% more uh, capital they've gained ever since COVID came out, right? So, so that's that's in the news. Uh, but what what's not in the news is th they re they received a lot of bailouts, billions, uh, and, and not only that, uh, their capital gains uh, taxes. When when let's say let's say Jeff Bezos sells ten billion dollars worth of stocks. He can take that $10 billion and invest it in what they call an opportunity zone. Okay, they're all over America, these opportunity zones. They're just little circles in, in different areas and in, in cities, you know, metropolitan area, areas, urban areas, whatever. It's just a little circle. Uh, and if you invest your $10 billion in that little circle, and buy all the businesses there, or, or however it's laid out, you don't have to pay capital gains taxes on that uh, purchase, or, or on the on your ten billion on your ten billion dollars. You don't have to pay the capital gains taxes on. So it's an investment, and it's a workaround on paying taxes. Okay, so they received the bailouts, and and now they got to work around. To, uh, to to profit as much as they possibly can off of their next move, which is buying property in a uh, opportunity zone. Now, believe it or not, uh, all of the opportunity zones in America were the areas that were locked down and the businesses were forced to go out of business. And they're also the areas that burned down, right? So not only did they lock them down and force them out of business, they created riots by uh, George Floyding it up, right? So George Floyd was that was planned ordeal there, okay? So so they they set that off so that now you can go burn down the people's businesses who you just choked to death with a with a virus that kills less people than the flu. And these people that have ten billion dollars are can go in there and buy that property and they don't have to pay capital gains taxes, okay? So what's that tell you? You see the whole long drawn out scheme that just took place there? I mean, from start to finish, the whole thing was planned, okay? Uh, they, gave, they gave the billionaires our tax dollars and bailouts and then they allowed the billionaires to save uh, on capital gains taxes by making sure that the small business owners in these opportunity zones were out of business so that the billionaires could come in and buy that and save themselves taxes. Now, how does that, re, uh, how does that coincide with Robinhood and GameStop? 
GameStop, that's what we're talking about, artificial intelligent games. This is a quantum AI arms race. You've got different artificial intelligence systems hacking people's minds to pull all of this off. It's like a, it's a 5D, 5D chessboard, all right? In my case, it's a 7D chessboard. So y'all don't, y'all can't get into that seventh dimension quite as well as I can. And I'm about to explain one more time what that seventh dimension is. One more time. So we're gonna game stop. We're gonna stop your games, okay? And then Robin Hood, right? Robin Hood. How does Robin Hood apply here, Jeff Bezos? Well, Robin Hood would apply. You steal from the rich and you uh, give to the poor. That's what Robin Hood does. Now, who would do that after this information lands in their lap when they go, wait a minute, they didn't actually just pull that off so that they, they burn people's uh, businesses down so that billionaires could save tax dollars after we bailed them out and they could buy that property to save their tax dollars uh, so they wouldn't have to pay capital gains taxes? Yeah, so you hand that information to people in the Army that's already pissed off about a whole bunch of other shit that y'all pulled off, right? And basically, at this point, you're domestic terrorists is what you are because the whole scheme is plotted out right in front of USOC right now. General Boudet's like, what the fuck? How come the FBI hasn't arrested these people, right? Well, guess that what General Boudet can do at this point with that information? Well, he can seize all of y'all's assets, just like that here in America. Now, of course, you can ch choke, you know, on your other, your Amazon around the world. You'll just choke the supply lines to America. We don't give a shit. Hell, we partnered partnered up with uh, China. What 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 what's to say that China isn't going to choke y'all's Nazi fucking globalist supply lines after they set all of you up this entire time? Who's working with Army very closely, right? What's to say that China and the army didn't have a secret deal? We didn't even we didn't even have to do anything crooked, even though we're crooked, right? To let y'all hang yourselves, and then when you then when we go seize your assets, right? You try to cut our supply lines here to America. You're going to try to cut our supply lines to America. Well, what if what's to say that China and the army? has worked out a deal where they're going to get their beaks wet on the assets that we just seized. And when y'all cut our supply lines, China's going to cut all of y'all off. Yeah. Allow me to retort. Yeah. 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 See, that was a little secret handshake that we worked out with China. China ends up owning more than they did before. What's to stop them from jumping all over that deal? Bezos. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the Robin hood and the game stop. Just set back, allow y'all to hang yourselves, and then we'll come in and seize all your assets, and we'll work a deal out with China when you try to fuck us on the back end of that deal. Of course, you'll all be in prison at that point. <coughs> yeah, see, that's what happens when you get an army that's informed, who uh, you know took an oath to protect the Constitution from all threats, foreign and domestic, and you just waged economical ter terrorism and just flat-out terrorism by burning shit down all over the country while the FBI swept it all under the rug for you, and they're trying to label conservatives, which was set up, you got Trump elected in the first place so that you could use social media to set up Trump supporters to look like domestic terrorists, when truly y'all are the ones that are the domestic terrorists. Well, you get a well-informed army that figures all of that out, and they go, man, we're just going to take their shit. What are they going to do about it? The army has all the guns. You can't stop the army from taking your shit after they learn that that's a fact, all of that's a fact. And China is going to protect us on the back end. And we're going to make sure that China reaps all kinds of benefits from that. Yeah. GameStop and Robin Hood. See, that's that seventh dimension. We just kicked back. We didn't even have to do anything crooked, even though we're crooked. Oh, and you know what the best part is? And you can watch some of my previous videos where I already mentioned this. You know, China uh, opened back up shortly after the coronavirus broke out. Remember that? Yeah, they just opened their doors back up, and they haven't been shut down ever since, but the rest of the world was for some reason. What are you going to do, Bezos and, the, and Bill Gates and the rest of you, when China comes out and says, well, we were just running a military exercise, and we shut down to test to see how fast we could shut down to protect our people. It was just a drill, and then we opened back up. 
Yeah, they never told anybody anything. They, you didn't see a whole lot of information coming out of China besides those PSYOP uh, videos that they sent over here on YouTube so that they could set all of this up to start out with because they got a quantum computer in outer space that's far superior than anything y'all were aware of, obviously. And they worked out a deal with a handshake with the United States Army so when this was all said and done, they'll, the two of them will end up owning all of you and there ain't a fucking thing you can do about it except wage more economical war against America, and we're ready for that. Who cares? Yeah, the, the Americans are pretty resilient. Hit us even harder. I'm ready. Come on, take it to us. Y'all are all about to be in prison. What are you going to do? Shut down our pharmaceuticals that are coming out of China after they just hustled you? China's with us. They'll keep sending us pharmaceuticals. We're going to make sure they're very well taken care of while all of you go to prison. And if you want to go to war, we got the biggest fucking military in the world. And China's on our side now. I bet General Dragimov sitting back over there right now looking at all this going, yeah, you know what, I want to be a part of this deal too. Let's all get together down here in Texas. That's a whole lot more power and stroke than you ever had, Bezos. We'll just take your shit. You're crooked. You're a scumbag. You're a technocrat piece of shit that doesn't give a fuck about anybody but yourself. Okay? You're all exposed. Would you think the guys with all the guns were just going to sit around and let you roughshod over them all this whole time? Yeah, they, they let you roughshod over them this whole time. They let you put the rope right around your neck so they can hang you and take your shit. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to give 10% of your company to be, to, uh, to the Bundys. Let's get, give it to the Bundys. Yeah, yeah. You know, remember the FBI and... Uh, uh, who was that? Uh, Clinton that tried to take the Bundy's land because they wanted the uranium on their land? Well, yeah, we're just going to take your land because we need to give uranium to Russia. Yeah, yeah, that was a blackmail deal, by the way. Russia was going to blackmail them if they didn't give them any ur uranium. I mean, you know, I don't know what you got going over there on in Russia, but I guarantee you at the end of the day, you get General Garajimov and them old Soviet generals over there whose heads popped out of their ass a little while ago on board with the United States Army and the Chinese Red Army? What the fuck are y'all going to do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do. You're all fucked. Yeah, Texas gets everything they need down here to uh, make sure America's very well taken care of for a very long time, by the way. The Permian Basin's just, mm, just ready to go. 500 shore tanks and five pipelines straight to it, sitting on the Gulf of Mexico ready to export, ready to deliver oil for as long as we can to the United States, giving us energy independence. And if we got to fucking secede to pull that off, let's do it. Yeah, we might partner with Mexico. Yeah, why not? Let's move our gun, gun manufacturers down to Mexico. Make a, you know, build some rapport with them. Hell, we'll build some shore tanks over there too. Maybe even build them some refineries. We'll become really good partners. It'll be Texaco. And we'll control Washington from down here because the United States Army is going to protect us because they just realize this power plays a whole lot better than anything else that anybody else has ran across their desk. And guess who likes power? The Army. And they also like to stay financed, and Texas can finance them, especially when China and uh, the old Soviet generals have their back. Yeah, I mean, y'all want to do, uh, you know, the great power struggle and the great reset? Well, I just told you how it's all going to go down. Robin Hood and GameStop. 